Welcome back, everyone. This is the Battle of Chancellorsville. We're taking up from where we left off, which you'll remember if you saw the last video. We basically just stayed in our defensive position, which was literally a camp. So it was just basically camping. We were unable to take any of the objectives because I took the computer's advice and held my position. I would not recommend doing what they tell you. This battle is going to be much larger and much, much more... This portion of the battle, the same battle, is going to be much, much more difficult, I feel. We will be getting some reinforcements, but as you can see, this is a massive battlefield, and we still need to be conquering these two positions. So, we got to decide how we're going to do this. We have three corps deployed to the field. My primary corps, Renegades Corps, the second corps, and the third corps. We have three hours on the mission clock. Now, I can't just select all of the cavalry at one time, but I can select four of them. I'm going to move them all this direction, which is probably a bad tactic, I will say that. But considering that I have so much cavalry and not that much else out here, I kind of want to get them away from that one point and get them out moving. Because uh, cavalry is not good at defense, they are an offensive uh, unit. Let's see, are you in a defensive position? Yes, you are as well. Now. To win this battle, we have to start taking positions. We can't just keep hiding here. So we need to develop our units, get our units ready. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to march them into this little wood right there. Grab Siegfried. He's in a defensive position. And depending on what's here, this might be a bad move. I'm not sure, so I'm gonna move several units there. And I'll grab this unit and send him here. Send this cavalry unit out to kind of scout. All right, we don't... Why are you there? I'm not sure. It's pretty good positioning though. Get Morrison ready. Grab Otis and move him into the woods here. What I'm doing is I'm just kind of gathering up enough forces that we can march into the objective. Now, I see that we've got... We're going to have a major cavalry duel out here. Yep, there's definitely a cavalry unit out here that's a threat to us. So our units are going to be... I'm going to slow this unit down. He doesn't need to even worry about it. These two can move this direction by themselves. I'm slowing them down because I want them to begin re rebuilding their charge of yeah we'll just let them fight like they should be now that said I'm gonna move L Walton back here although wait there's no reason to I don't believe there is no reason at the moment to our cavalry has that area covered they move skirmishers forward and Hare is dealing with them our artillery is firing away at Whatever we see, Brewster has dealt with inf line infantry. That did not go well. Um, all right, Stuart. Okay, so this is Stuart's cavalry unit. Stonewall Jackson is attacking our right. Okay, so I'm gonna move this unit this way. Jackson has done what he always does, which is spring surprise attacks on you. If we can capture Stuart or kill Stuart or drive him from the field, whatever it happens to these guys, that's what we're going to do. Because, uh, let's see. Now, my attacking force is now here. I'm going to march the attacking force into the woods here. Nope, 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 nope. March them right down to here. That'll be good. Now, we're going to grab a cord... Morris, Pegram, and move them to the right flank. Also going to grab Loomis, send him into position on the right flank. Why was the supply train out there? All right, so I need to get our cavalry unit working and find out where the enemy is. We're going to send the entirety of our cavalry this direction, although I know there's enemy cavalry here, so I'm going to send one ca No, you know what? I'm going to form all of them together into one. Where are they? 
All right, basically they're behind us. The positions that they gave us are not useful at all. At least not yet. So I'm gonna march the primary force of the, the army down here to the main objective and then we'll work from there. Now, I need to get out on this flank. Bragg's artillery, which is kind of funny because Bragg was one of the main uh, Confederate commanders. Okay, we've, as soon as we get artillery in good position, I'm gonna move, actually I'm gonna move them here. Now, L. Walton will have to deal with Iverson. This is, this is fairly decent. We're in good shape there. Now, let's move our supplies to safety. And our artillery will move it to safety as well. Now, I'm going to grab you guys. Actually, I'm just going to grab you three. And order them into position there. There's no reason to hold down here, so what I'm going to do is bring all the artillery back. We'll hold on one objective. Instead of trying to scatter like we've been doing here, for some weird reason. For some weird reason, they've got my line so... Now, I can't retreat all of my troops because I need to... Where's my cavalry? Alright, fine. Alright, so we're in good shape with the cavalry there. Now, these units are gonna... There's just no way around it. They're going to be taking a beating if we're not careful. I'll move Hare here. I'm gonna grab Preston and get him ready. Alright, so... Oh, they have artillery. Lots of artillery up there. So our, our cavalry units are going to definitely cut that down for us. And then I'm going to use that cavalry to attack Stonewall Jackson. Alright, now. And Milroy will move forward as well. Now you guys, so far, have no real reason to be there. I'm going to move the artillery down here. Just because I think we're not going to take an attack up there, and if we do... But I know we're going to be fighting in this area, so I'm going to go ahead and get the, get the cavalry going on this attack. Yep, we're definitely, you know, it's not ideal, but we've got so much of it, we're going to use the cavalry to try to destroy as much of their artillery as possible. Now, they moved their cavalry against our line infantry, so they're going to, yeah, completely be destroyed. So, we're, we're going to hold it fast here. Oh, crap. Welcome to the problem. There is no way we can hold this position. So what I'm gonna do is grab all of this and send it this way because I need to get the cavalry moving. But what I'm gonna do is move my, oh. Actually, you know, I'm gonna detach skirmishers and send those units this way. If you haven't figured out what I'm doing, I'm just deploying as many skirmishers as possible. And if I leave skirmisher units behind, I can then use them to harass the enemy, but also to slow this attack. Get Amon out of there and just send... Alright, Albuk has been killed. That's fine. We're destroying their artillery and then we'll probably be dealing with the skirmishers. Now... They're moving forward here, but we are threatening them. I'm going to use Walton and Vitek to attack right. And these guys are going to be used as a major hammer to just try to drive right into the position. I don't know what's out there or where their lines are, so that's a bit of a disadvantage. Now... We're going to use our cavalry to deal with this as they are becoming a threat. Seems to be a bit of a lag. Not exactly a lag may not be the right term. This cavalry is kind of routed. I'm going to detach skirmishers here and order them to move into position there. Now L. Walton's going to deploy skirmishers and fall back 
as well. Custer will deploy his and he will fall back and yeah that is Custer. The skirmishers are going to help ha have to kind of hold. Amon will deploy his skirmishers and then move into defensive positions. The Iron Brigade is going to go into defensive positions there. Graham's boys into defensive positions here. This artillery, Woods' artillery is moving here. We were in good shape there. Weed will move this way. Kitching is going to deform on this position. Loomis, get into those. William, get here. Okay, we're going to try to do some sort of attack to slow down the enemy. And you're, I'm just using skirmishers to kind of do something of a fighting withdrawal. It's not ide ideal, but it will work. Now I'm going to send all of the cavalry back against that artillery position. Let's move back over to our attack. We are attacking a strong defensive position that appears to be being held by several units. So we're going to move kind of as a clump, which is not a good tactic but it's the best I can do at the moment. Now, we are threatening the enemy. That is at least something good. The enemy has troops up here. What are we doing? I'll order cross into those woods there. Send these skirmishers up to this position. They should be able to slow down the enemy. Get this cavalry out here. Get this artillery to move this direction. Marsh's skirmishers are dealing with that. Custer's marching. These skirmishers are just going to get chewed up, but they are slowing down the enemy, which is the, the only reason they exist there at the moment. I'm going to send my cavalry forward. And we're going to continue fight, fighting here, trying to do some damage to what is quickly becoming... I think it's going to be difficult for us to win this battle. Let's see. Our cavalry units are moving here. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I am attempting to get around behind the enemy and drive them. Basically, you know, make them pull away and slow down and not get into this position quite as quick. Barnes will get into defense here. McCord, get into defense here with Pegram. Edwards, form here. Get the skirmishers up here. Get this unit here. Stokes. Uh, Morrison, all right, you come down here. And Durrell's Devils. Are they in a defensive position? I'm going to have them go here. The reason being, the reason I'm doing that is I think that using that will allow us to shoot as they come towards the woods, which will kill off some of the troops. We have 55 minutes on the mission clock. Mission timer. Let's see how it's going on our left flank. Rhodes. I'm going to move Otis here because I think that's a better position. We've got plenty of artillery there. That's a good positioning. All right, so these guys, Ward needs to move on across, grab my artillery, uh, not my artillery, my cavalry, cavalry, and move it here. Fire on, we need to get across the stream, that's what we need to do. Now, what do I do? I need to grab a commander of some sort. Here's the unit. Commander, that'll be good. Get him down here. See if we can get some morale going. Now, we are holding the farm with no problem. Hang tight. Thomas is charging us.
Skirmishers surrendered. Was that our skirmishers? Oh, yeah, we captured some. Without even trying to. That's good. I'm gonna, as I, wait, I can't order them to run. Grab our cavalry. Send these skirmishers this direction. Hopefully the enemy will forget about them. Our cavalry is attacking line infantry, which is not ideal, but we kind of hit them from all directions and we have overwhelming force, so. Our cavalry is exhausted, so I'm gonna, after this fight, pull them back and let them retreat. The battle is definitely gonna be a challenge. All right. We outnumber the enemy, but I'm having a hard time figuring out how to get onto the objective. Okay, so we're good there. Now, I'm gonna take these units, this unit of cavalry, and move it off this direction. They're escaping. And I'd love to be able to take out Jackson. We're harassing the enemy as they retreat, so there's a chance we'll be able to destroy them. Custer's skirmishers are still down here, so I'm going to use them and this cavalry unit to try to destroy the enemy as best I can. All right, you guys, all of you, deal with Thomas. Now cross, get in here and get ready. I don't know what I just did. Get back there. I'm gonna order all of my units back because there's no way we're gonna be able to take that position, I don't believe. What I'm gonna do is order them back, then march them over here and attack along the back see if we can come in that direction and assuming my cavalry where are my skirmishers I mean let's see let's grab this cavalry unit and send him all the way across the map all right so as soon as this is kind of done and we'll capture these supplies. That'll hurt the enemy. We've only got 12 minutes on the clock. Not really enough time to do anything in this portion of the battle. I've got a feeling this is going to be like the battle of Second Bull Run, where we have a long time. Supplies surrendered. Fantastic. Now, the supplies are going to go out this way. And our cavalry is going to retreat this direction. While this cavalry unit, as weary as they are, They're going to run this direction. All right. We know that the enemy... Can I make them run? I cannot make them run. you got to be kidding me. They've already reformed. What's wrong with you guys? How did you reform that quick? We'll take out this artillery while we can. Now, we've kind of formed into something of a defensive position, and I think we might be able to do pretty good. It looks like darkness might be starting to fall. I'm not sure. That's what it feels like. So far, we've accomplished one of our goals, which was to hold the Chancellor Farm, but we haven't really done anything to accomplish any of our winning positions. I'm going to go ahead and finish this mission. Let's see. All right, we're going to proceed to the next day. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to get some more traction going tomorrow and actually win the battle. But I will point out that historically, the Union did lose this battle. Maybe I shouldn't have looked that up. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe and check back tomorrow for the rest of the battle. Thank you so much for watching.